Well, I'm not all that impressed with my uh, first drive with the Penzoil Synchro Mesh. Um, I did have to fight with that stupid shifter, as you know. When I modified that Ford, that Mustang T5 shifter and made it fit my GM Camaro T5, <clears throat> I played hell trying to get the shifter mounted in the correct position where it would engage all gears fully. Well, I thought I had marked it well enough to where I could just pull that shifter off, fill the synchro mesh through the shifter box, and then throw the thing back together, and it would be fine. Well, yeah, all good plans uh, apparently don't always work. So basically, <clears throat> I spent a day and a half here and there messing with that shifter to where I finally figured out where to mount it to get all my gears. Well, when I first test drove it, I drove it literally just down the, uh, I just drove it literally down the street and back and I thought, gosh, this thing's really quiet and is really, uh, shifting smooth. I was really happy with it. I thought, well, and, and keep in mind, this is all way under 15 miles, which previously, about the 15 mile mark of continuous driving is when that T5 would get that crazy little bit of a whine to it from heating up the fluid. Well, I didn't even get to drive this thing five miles, and I would almost bet you the whining noise is louder now with the Pennzoil Synchro Mesh than it was with the ATF. Um, I do have that ATF that I pulled out of this thing. The sun isn't overly bright today. It was when I first started my video, but the fluid was really clean. It looks dark down in this little container. And if the sun would come back out, I don't know if that's a normal amount of glittery, I don't know, it's like a really super ultra fine shimmer of what I would call, if it was an engine, I would call it just like a, like a little metal flake in that ATF. I wish this would really give it justice. I mean, that could be just the additive packages in that ATF, I don't know for sure. But it's, it's absolutely got a little bit of a shimmer to it. But story is, the stupid ATF was quieter in the T5 than the Synchro Mesh. So I don't, I don't know where to go from here. I think what I'm going to do is let it set, let it cool off, take it on another test drive, and if it does that crazy lot, because I mean, it, it, in my opinion, it's it's whining louder now than it did, you know, when the with the ATF in there. And I'm just I'm not gonna have that. So if I have to, I will immediately pull that stupid synchro mesh out of there, and uh, I'll probably tr at least try the Royal Purple Synchro Max because I use that uh, Royal Purple. Uh, Maxis or whatever that stupid fluid from my power steering pump and it absolutely did wonders so just trusting in what a success I've had using the power steering product from Royal Purple I think it would be at least it would be at least worth it to try the Royal Purple you know, manual transmission fluid to see if it has a difference on it and I, at this point, I just want to get it back to equal to the amount of whining it had before or better so that I can save up and get the parts and all the necessary pieces to properly rebuild the T5. Because other than, other than that whining noise, I'm super happy with it. I mean, it, the gear ratios are you know right in line with what I was hoping for. It pulls smooth, it pulls strong. You hit fifth gear, gets excellent gas mileage. I have not calculated gas mileage yet, 
but I know it's over 20. You know, when I'm on the highway in fifth gear, I know it's getting over 20 miles a gallon because I can literally drive. Gosh, I went to Freeman and back the other night, and I guarantee I didn't even use maybe a 16th of a tank of gas. So, I mean, it's, yeah, I have no complaints at all on fuel mileage. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. Uh, it was the Penzoil brand Synchro Mesh. I'm not impressed with it at all because uh, <laughs> it's worse now than it was with the regular ATF. So, anyway, one step at a time. We'll do the best we can to try to figure this out. And worst case scenario, I guess we'll be rebuilding the T5. So, thank you guys for watching.